don't cover up your voice. If you want real brilliance and a really wonderful open tone, you have to stay tuned to find out how to do that. Even though you may have a lot of basics in place, like you may have good posture, support, you're breathing correctly, and you're producing the tones correctly, your placement is pretty good, but still it seems like the tone isn't ideal. It's still not bright and brilliant and traveling and really just having those overtones. And really something that hinders a lot of singers from having this brilliant tone is if you just deprive yourself of the brightness in your voice, even though you may have a low voice, there still need to be brighter frequencies vibrating along with the main frequency. The brighter frequencies always really dominate a little bit more. You may have heard this. If you hear a bunch of singers, there's usually the high voices really stick out. If you listen to a choir and the soprano sing a really high pitch, that really sticks out. And though you may sing maybe just an E4, there may be other tones that are actually vibrating along, and those are the overtones. The only way you can actually achieve a fuller, brilliant, brighter tone is to allow the frequencies to actually travel in all those nooks and crevices in your head so that the bones and the nooks and crevices, they can have like resonance and the space can just, you know, like when you have a big empty hall, it's just that empty space will totally amplify your voice and the volume of it. And so you have some empty spaces here, maybe they're filled with air or liquids, but those and the bones in your head are the areas where you get some resonance out of. So the thing that really holds you back a lot is when you're covering up your sound or you're not letting it go higher into your head. The first thing is lowering and darkening the voice like oh. you're pushing down your larynx and your pharynx like oh really darkening it and this doesn't work. Same with head voice if you go oh. basically I'm cutting everything off right here and it can't really go into my head and vibrate. What you want to do is try to not push anything and darken it to where it's an unnatural placement for your voice. You want to make sure you think high direction. I don't know, it really helps me to think the roof of my mouth is like a cathedral. I need to make it huge, large, tall, like not ooh, but ah. Make it taller, taller, taller and really try to direct the sound upward not darkening your voice too much. Another thing is covering with your lips. A lot of times singers will just kind of swallow up the sound by pulling the lips over the top teeth or the, even the bottom teeth. It's like So like I'm really stopping the sound here. So much better, okay? Same with head voice. never want to think wide and narrow like sideways but what you do want to think is have a little lift upward not covering up your top or bottom teeth anything that's pressed you can always hear that in the sound so try those tips and let me know how it works out for you don't cover up your sound make sure the brighter frequencies in even if you have a low voice in your voice do come out and that they do have a chance to dominate travel to really cut through it's that ping that we're all looking for thanks for watching today if you're not in my facebook group you need to join it's called master your voice wonderful singers from all over the world we can continue the conversation there and also check out my online courses or how to work with me just go to masteryourvoice.tv until next time, don't forget to subscribe and always keep a song in your heart. Bye.